Isekai is a huge genre. Some would say there's too much isekai. There is never enough isekai. But the world is fully accepted that isekai will never go away. We'll still get our lazy protagonists whose only character traits are liking vulnerable girls and being better than literally everyone else because he's the protagonist. For so many years, this lackluster writing style has become the norm and it honestly didn't look like it was going to change until Mushoko Tensei came out. <laughs> Mushoko Tensei is about a 30 plus year old loser who gets reincarnated into another world after getting hit by a truck, who saw that coming. In this new world he goes by Rudius and he is a gigantic perv with an innocent face. As he grows up he finds out that there's magic, elves, demons and sundares. Oh my god this sounds like every other isekai show ever XD. Well it's not. The main difference here is with our protagonist. I live by a simple rule when critiquing protagonists. The only way to make a perfect character in general is to make them not perfect. This is something that most writers miss. They think a perfect character must have no faults and does nothing wrong. A simple safe option that some writers use is to make their protagonist into someone who's just a guy who's nice and kind. You don't know how many times I've seen this in anime. Like I said, it's a safe option for a protagonist in isekai and in other genres. But this trope gets old really fucking quick. So how does Mushoko Tensei's protagonist differ? Rudius his big difference is that he is a flawed person. In the early stages of the show, you don't really notice it until Rudy starts having traumatic flashbacks of his past, where he was bullied and humiliated. This trauma leaves Rudy socially anxious when trying to leave the house. He then learns that that life is over and to enjoy the second chance. Social anxiety is something a lot of people have to cope with, and the way it's presented in the show is very well done. As well, there are other things that make Rudy flawed. He's selfish, overconfident, manipulative, a pervert and a pervert. He's basically just a pervert. But it's not just Rudy. Pretty much everyone in the show is flawed in some way. A lot of people that talk about the show talk about the dad as an example, like how he cheated on his wife with the maid and then we hated him, but then we didn't hate him. So here's my rendition of it. Best mom, wife, hands down. She stuck around with this jackass in order to keep the family together. Screw Sundarais, bro. I'm a fucking MILF man right now. The point that I'm trying to get across is that Mashoko Tensei isn't like other isekai shows. The show has a good mature tone that I think is more balanced than other shows like it, such as ReZero and Shield Hero. Which nicely gates way into my other point about the show. Granddaddy Mashoko Tensei. Sorry, I'm not gonna say that. If some of you don't know, Mashoko Tensei was one of the manga that popularized the common tropes that you see in anime. A pervy protagonist, a loser that gets transported into another world, a wide selection of waifus and truck guns first day on the job. Yes, I stole that joke, fuck off. Again, this may not sound like your cup of tea as you might think that all these tropes are stale and not original. And you're right. But the way this show presents those traits is toned down a lot, unlike other shows that for some reason focus on it way too much. Will you become my new child? Absolutely not! Okay. Then what about becoming my little sister? Your little sister? Is this what Isekai is right now? But you can tell that this show is a raw and well thought out depiction of what Isekai can be and what it should be. Animation of a show is something I couldn't care less about. I mean, I watched all of Black Clover and did I complain about it in my video? No because I cut it out. My point being is that if it's not symbolic or interesting, then I see no point in talking about the animation. So why am I talking about Mushoko Tensei's animation? Well, what if I told you that the studio who made Mushoko Tensei, Studio Bind, its sole purpose was to make this show. Studio Bind is made up of people from other studios, them being White Fox and Egg Farm. White Fox has done ReZero, McDonald's Isekai, Akami Ga Kill, Goblin Slayer, and that one fucking lolly anime that I see every single time on Funny Moments Anime. 
Like, what the sh- On the other hand, Egg Farm are more of a supportive studio that help out with other companies. They've worked on shows like SEO and Dan Marchi. Anyway, these two companies split up some of their people in order to make Studio Bind, in order to make Mushoko Tensei. Animix, why aren't you talking about the animation from the show? Oh my god, XD! Yeah, I could talk about the anime itself, about how great it looks, how the water looks like water, how the characters look like the characters, how the environment looks like the environment. What else do you want me to say? I honestly think that the thought of this show being made by two different studios combining for the sole purpose of creating the show is more interesting and fun to talk about than what you guys already know. You guys know that the show looks sick, and if you're that one guy who hasn't seen any of the show, you've been watching this video, so you've seen how good the show looks. Anyway, the main point that I'm trying to say is that a lot of thought was put into this show, and the fact that they created a whole new studio just to make this show is pretty pretty freaking dope, okay? So you've got a good protagonist, you've got great characters, you got the animation, you got the tone right, everything is great. Hey Animix, um, what actually happens in the show? Um, well... For the first half of the show, there isn't really that much going on. It mostly feels like a slice of life at some stages, and honestly, I wouldn't mind if the show focused on that. But then the second half comes along, and now it's full adventure mode, and I love it. The first half focuses on Rudius as a character and him developing in this world. The second half does the exact same thing, but with a different concept. The mystery over why they got teleported and how they will get home has got season 2 gripping me by the balls to the point where it's hurting and that I've already picked up the manga and it's still hurting. And I already know what's gonna happen. Bro, it's, it's fucking annoying. All in all, Mushoko Tensei is definitely my new favorite isekai show. Sorry, slime. The show feels more complete and feels like a lot more thought went into it than other isekai shows. The best way I can describe this show is a breath of fresh air from the isekai genre. Now, if you are someone that's not a big fan of the isekai genre and not sure if this show is for you, then just give it a try. But if you don't like it, then it's perfectly fine. Not every anime is meant for everyone. But I have to enforce that everyone should give this show a watch as I think it's the best isekai I've ever seen. A masterpiece of isekai. God, that ending was cringe. But anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe down below, and I'll talk to you guys later.